All right, Shalom all. First and foremost, before we get started, we will start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. The bar said, Hey, elders and apostles, a great millstone who we want to teach you of. Also, want to give a shout out after that to the whole elect, to your Akif, if you Akwa, who are sincere and is true, as well as the leaders of this world, and not just believers, but doers as well. And again, to you, we'd like to say Shalom. Shalom. Now, as you know, I'm the brother Yeshaya, and to my right, I have the brother. Because quiet. You know, and we're back here through the spirit of Pai Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. All right, on the Thursday, you know, do this lesson. As you can see, the title of it, Jeremiah 28 and 8. All right, we told you so. Mm -hmm. Okay, as we prophesy, you know, the, um, what is it? Uh, matter of fact, Papa Bashar, you get uh, Revelation uh, 19, what, I believe it's 10. Mm -hmm. You know, we coming into the spirit of prophecy, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. All right? And that's what we're doing. We mean it to tell you what's going to happen before it actually happened. Okay? Uh -huh. We're warning you of these numerous things, you know, that are actually happening right now on the planet Earth. With a head elder, elders and apostles of Great Millstone, been warning you of these things, man. Mm -hmm. You got it up. Yep. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, mm -hmm. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren mm -hmm. that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. That's it. And that's the spirit of the Lord. Prophecy. Which is which it was commanded unto us with what? To prophesy unto you. Mm -hmm. Okay? What he told on um, Peter, if ye love me, feed my sheep. All right? And what we're doing, we're feeding the sheep with the prophecies thereof, man. Mm -hmm. Just so they can get pe be prepared and put on the arm of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Now, we could go. You got some? Yeah, quick one just to back up. Yeah. Like you said, that's what the Lord uh, told us to do. Hey, that's our job description. Uh, as prophet to come out and warn you of the things of the future. Uh, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. You see, and that's and that's what we were told to do. Speak in your ears the words of prophecy. I like, warn you of Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. how America's finna go to shit, the dollar finna collapse, and they, um, they're gonna make their mark of the beast mandatory, which is that RFID market chip. That's our job to come out here and warn you of these things. You see? Mm -hmm. you yeah, it was commanded unto us to do these things, to blow ye the trumpet. And Zion, mm -hmm. I know we all over the place, but we can get that too, huh? mm -hmm. you know, that Joel. Matter of fact, get that Isaiah, spare ye not. Mm -hmm. tell you, cause the thing is, we're not coming with the spirit of respect to persons, man. All right? Meaning we don't give a damn who you is or what status you have in this world. We was given, like the brother said, our job description. We was given a job to do. And therefore, with all our might, we're going to do it, man. Okay? And that job is currently is to warn you of the sad perils that's about to be brought upon the planet Earth, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. And again, going back, uh, give a damn about how you feel. Uh, All right, give a damn about uh, uh, what's your mindset, what your plan is. No, man. It's all about your how about Shimei Awasha. And he set up these certain prophets, just like in the time of Noah. <laughs> All right, to warn you of the things to come upon the planet Earth. You got it, brother. Yep, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. In verse 1, cry aloud, spare not, mm -hmm. lift up thy voice like a trumpet, mm -hmm. and show my people their transgression. And that's what we have done, if I may. That's what we have done, man. Mm -hmm. We spare not, we cry aloud. Brothers out there on the street corners throughout the four corners of the earth. And I hate to bring them up, but these even these um these intra level Israelite camps, mm -hmm. they even have a, a you know, they don't have the truth in this fullness. But the fact that they're throwing it, the flesh upon you as far as like the Israelite, the skin. You know, mm -hmm. we have, sometimes we call them skin Israelites. You know, let you know you're Israelites. But with that, even with that, that's even half of the story. Hell, 25% of the story, really. Mm -hmm. You know? After that, now you got to seek more. What I have to do to obtain this salvation and glory that the scriptures speak of, man. Okay? Well, here it is. The Lord has prophets, all right, that he has set up, all right? Again, read that again. Yep. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, mm -hmm. and show my people their transgressions mm -hmm. and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, and that's what we have done. 
Jeremiah 3 and 15, if mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing. Yes. That's what we have done. We have sh revealed unto you through the prophecies, through the scriptures, through this holy Bible, mm -hmm. okay, what are your, your, your sins, man? Mm -hmm. Okay, because in the world, you don't, you know, you you eat pork, you doing certain things that's really going off according to the scriptures of Yahweh about me, I was shot. Mm -hmm. But you feel as though you're doing no wrong because you ain't hurt nobody. Yep. You know what I mean? But here it is, the Lord has set up these certain men, okay, to reveal to you what are your sins. Spare not, meaning give a damn about how your auntie feel. <laughs> All right? We're going to tell you what the Lord says. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, man. You got it up. It says, this book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, mm -hmm. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Now the Lord said, I will give you pastors according to my heart. Now it's a commandment to lean out unto thy own understanding. Mm -hmm. Consider that, you know? <laughs> it's a commandment. The Lord told us in the book of Proverbs, lean out unto thy own understanding, man. But trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Because when you go into that word heart, it goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind, man. Okay? But he said he will give you pastor according to his heart. According to his mind. This is your heart by Shema. shot speaking. All right? And they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The only thing is you have to gather the knowledge and understanding. You got to be able to accept, first and foremost, all right, by the way of being taught, man. And we understand that's a hard thing for many men that come into this, you know, um, they don't want to be taught. Every guy want to be the one in the spotlight. Nobody wants to take the low seat. Mm -hmm. Well, scriptures even tell you when much is given, much is required, man. And then when you're given that portion... All of a sudden, you niggas can't handle it, man. Mm -hmm. Now you coming with gal, you know? You coming with pride. <laughs> you feel as though you're someone. You feel as though you, you have to be something. Well, that's why you can't give a nigga status. Hey, the scriptures even tell you riches are not common for a nigga, man. Mm -hmm. But even going back, the Lord has set up prophets. You got some up? Uh, yeah, you some? got some, yeah. Yep. Bring it out, bro. Yep, this is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 3 and verse 17. That's it. And it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And like the brother just going into, if I may, um, that's a, our job to uh, to show you your transgressions. That's what a watchman he set up for, to teach you the law, statutes, and commandments, and to show you the prophecies of the Lord and what to do to get yourself right so you won't get caught in the destruction. That's it. It says, Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning for me. And that's what we set up for hey, to, to warn you of the judgments from Yahweh by Shemal Shai that he's going to bring upon the earth. But you got it up. Yeah, you keep going on that. I didn't break it down. Keep going on that. Yep. It says, When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to the Salaki, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, mm -hmm. the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Mm -hmm. Hey, so like the brother just said, when much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. You see, I would say Stanley Lee say, with great power come great responsibility. Oh, yeah. And and it's our job to out here to be out here and warn you uh of the judgments. They like, teach you uh, about the um the laws, statutes, and commandments, like the brother going to. No pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, put the blacks down. You mm -hmm. see? But That's you it. niggas don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that from a uh you yeah, they look at you like a young nigga. They don't want to yeah. hear that from you, nigga. Yeah. You know, they want to... Hey, like you said, I ain't hurt nobody of smoking yeah. my cigarette. Yeah. These niggas, they don't want to listen, man. So but I, but I you mean, got it. You know, they, like, even that point, they how they don't want to listen. See, they see us as poor just like them. We in the same... You mm -hmm. know what I mean? <laughs> I go to work just like you go to work, nigga. The fuck? I'm finna retire. I make more yeah. money than you. You feel me? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, you got it. No. Hey, uh... So, like... Yeah, keep going on. Oh yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. So hey, that's that's why we out here warning you as well to get your blood off our hands. That's it, bro. Because hey, if we if we, by us knowing this knowledge and we were to just uh, hey, put it in the napkin, hey, now y'all blood on our hands by the Lord giving us this mm -hmm. um this this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now it's required of us mm -hmm. to go out hey, and warn you. If not, mm -hmm. that's our ass. Yep, that's it. That's it. Yeah, keep going. All right. On, uh, verse nineteen. It says, "Yet 
If thou warn the wicked, uh -huh. and he turn not from his wickedness, mm -hmm. nor from his wicked way, mm -hmm. he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, you got it. Yep. So, hey, if um, by us warning you, hey, it's scripture, what are they here or for a bell? That's our mm -hmm. job to tell you, whether you niggas want to hear it or not, America going to get destroyed. Your paper money is going to, hey, not going to be worth shit after a while. Mm -hmm. And you bitches going to get ravished. America's gonna get bombed. Whether you wanna hear that or not, hey, we getting the blood off our hands. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Lord willing, hey, our souls be delivered when all hell break loose. We be those servants who eating and drinking and rejoicing when all hell breaking loose because guess what? We did the work of the Lord, man. Yeah, hey, yeah, and if I make, cause that's heavy. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord even tell you in that the Revelation three and um what is that, Revelation three and ten? Oh, get it real quick. Kind of. You know that them that keep the word of my patience. Because if you want to be real, teaching you niggas is causes patience, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I be real shit. Blowing a trumpet to you fucking niggas yeah. causes patience. You niggas want to come up, mock, scoff, talk that shit. That really takes humility. Mm -hmm. You know, to actually take the low seat, step back, nigga, try you, play you like you weakest. You know what I mean? Real shit, man. Because you believe in the Bible. Yeah. You know, that's it. Because you believe in the scriptures. That causes patience, man. To actually hold back from you niggas, man. Matter of fact, get that out. Yep. Go shot. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, mm -hmm. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So also, it's a reward. Because we kept the word of his patience. Meaning, we went through the suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, through the shit talking, the being spit on, the being motherfuckers pouring water on you. Throwing shit at you, shooting BB guns at you. Shooting real guns at yeah, you. Yeah, shooting real guns at you, et cetera, et cetera. You see? It's an ultimate reward because we kept the patience of your how about Shemar Shah. We held that integrity. Ooh. You see? So ultimately, what he said, um, you got something? I got the word for um patience, you if got I may. Bring it out. Yep, this is the word for patience. G5281. It says steadfastness, mm. uh, consistency. Endurance. That's it. It says in the New Testament, the characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety mm -hmm. by even the greatest trials and sufferings. Ooh. Hey, like the brother said, hey, teaching you niggas, That's man. It. And ultimately, hey, in our temptation, uh, uh, hold and fast. Yeah, hold and fast. You know, and trusting on the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Even if we have to be uh, thrown in a concentration camp, don't eat for a couple of days, or even be beheaded. Hey, so what? Hey, long as we hold fast until the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, hey, ain't no losing with that. Mm -hmm. but, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> As well, plainly said, man, and it shall be done mm -hmm. to those who hold fast and kept it and, and hit. And have patience, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Eventually, they're going to eat in that day. Matter of fact, we can get that. Uh, it was just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Finish that. Finish that. Yeah. Revelation 3 and 10 says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, uh -huh. which shall come upon all the earth to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah. Everybody going to be tried. Even little Juju, little school next door. Mm -hmm. Them niggas going to be tried, man. Your best friend, them niggas gonna be tried, bro. What shall come upon earth that ultimately what going into that charisma? Mm -hmm. Because what this devil's gonna do, he's gonna shut off all the resources to the point where you only have to trust upon him. Okay. But hey, going back, matter of fact, we're gonna stick to the point. Going back to the title of the lesson, what we told you so. Mm -hmm. You know, we blow the trumpet. We warned you. This is the things that was commanded of us to warn you, man. It's only up to you to hearken and listen. You got something up? No, no, no. What you want me to get? Uh, let's get um, uh, Ezekiel 7 and verse 14. Hmm. You know, because again, they, they have blown the trumpet. But you niggas didn't hearken. You niggas mm -hmm. didn't listen. You niggas didn't consider. You got it out. Yep, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 14. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready. But none go up to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Matter of fact, get on hold that too. Mm -hmm. Because he said, again, they have blown the trumpet, but none go up to the battle, 
All right, none was prepared. Get second edge at 16 to 40. Because nobody put on the arm on the most high. The trumpet being blown, the warning's going out. But nobody's considering. You know what I mean? Niggas still throwing parties and shit, not considering that World War Three is in a brewing pot right now. Mm-hmm. That soon, my nigga, you're going to have to, like, trust in this society in order to eat. Trust in the so-called white man. Actually trust, buy down again. See, thing is, Jake, they don't see themselves as buying down now. You know what I mean? You think you a free, nigga free from slavery, mm-hmm. you know, physical slavery, you know? They so blinded and shit that they don't even see that now he's coming after that mental, man. But soon it's going to be physical again where you're going to have to buy down and take that karate if you want to be a part of the system. If you want to eat, nigga. <laughs> if you want to drink, you want to feed your family, you're going to have to buy down and take that karate, man. Uh. All right? And it's all because what? You didn't get prepared for the battle. You got it out. Yep, this book of Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 40. Oh, my people, mm-hmm. hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. So like, and if I may... And that's a separation within this. Because he says, oh, my people, mm-hmm. hear thy word. You got it out. Yep. It says, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yep. And when you go into that word pilgrims. I got it. Yeah. It's like, that ain't all right. You got it. Bring you know, it out, bro. Just the, um, <laughs> the, um, the Edamon Online definition for pilgrim. It says, a, yep, a person traveling to a holy place. And it says religious obligation or seeking some miracle or mm-hmm. spiritual benefit. That's it. Because we're going to be seeking miracles in that day. Mm-hmm. It says, oh, my people, get ye ready for the battle. And it starts by the way of your mind. You got to be prepared. Like the elder, I was say, hey, be ready to see miracles, bro. Huh. Be ready to see miracles. You got to have your mind actually prepared to fathom that. You yeah, know what I mean? To yeah. hold upon that. Nigga see certain shit going on, he going, oh, shit, and bug out. Nigga might... Faint, you know what I mean? Real shit. Die and give up the ghost. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, but he said, be ready. Because it's going to be so terrible out here, you're going to need the miracles to be delivered from certain situations. Mm-hmm. Oh, that goes back to that Isaiah 59, 19, when the flood shall come in and the standard will lift up against him. Mm-hmm. You know? That was in miracles, man. But the Lord's telling you, be prepared for the battle, mm-hmm. for the temptations, for the trials. For the tribulations. And be ready to what? The, uh, the, see, be as pilgrims. Mm-hmm. Again, like the brother brought out, being as pilgrims, seeking for those miracles. Mm-hmm. Brother's going to be throwing up heavy prayers in the Hebrew, you know? The Lord's Prayer, the Anointing Prayer. You know, those are going to be, you know, common prayers that's going to be thrown up to the Lord in those times. Salvation, you know? Different things are going to happen. In the times that we're coming for. But the Lord is telling you to seek these things. Mm-hmm. That's why he said, be ye as pilgrims, man. Okay? But that's only for those who are being prepared for the battle. Mm-hmm. Because when you go back to Isaiah, matter of fact, get it? You got something? No, no, no. Isaiah, my book shot real quick. Isaiah 65, 13. Because when you go back to Isaiah 65, 13, he lets you know that his service is going to eat. Matter of fact, start at verse 12. Huh? That's good. Yep, this is the book of Isaiah 65, verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword. Ooh, up oh, two-thirds. The ones who didn't consider the battle. Mm-hmm. The spirit, you little dog bunny. You know, teeth of the wild beast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you know niggas scared of dogs a lot. You got it out. <laughs> and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Mm-hmm. Because when I call, ye did not answer. That's it. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Yeah, you two thirds, you niggas. Mm-hmm. When he called, you refused. Because the trumpet was being blown. Mm-hmm. The warning was going out. But you said, hell no, nah, man, I ain't hearing that shit, man. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Go, go get some money, nigga. You know what I mean? Real uh, shit. That's Jake, weak ass, man. Uh, you know? Niggas ain't got no integrity, man. Uh, but anyway, you know, it's like it. But you know, when the Lord called, you niggas refused. You turned away the shoulder, man. Huh. All right? You you kept dwelling in your lust. If you may, I'll read that one more time, bro. Yep. It says, Isaiah 65 and 12, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. So, so like it. You know, they got that saying in the world, you know, when your number comes up, you can't <laughs> fight. Well, guess what, nigga? You number to the sword, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Your number to destruction. 
Yeah. Your brother to death. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you can't fight it. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> you got it out. He says, because when I called, ye did not answer. Yeah, Trump been blown. You know? You got it? If I may. Mm-hmm. And that's an act of love. Hey, the that's Lord it. tell you, that's him showing compassion by having this man out. A hey, uh delivering his message unto you. He trying to put you on game on what's to come and what to do a hey, to get ready. That's why it's yeah, yeah. only for the elect, man. Yeah, that Jake though. Yeah, really, Lord. Let me tell you something, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he trying to put you down. Yeah. You know, he trying to put you on game. Like you saying, man, he trying to warn you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, they trying to get you get rid of your ass, man. You need to get right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you got it out. Hey, like I say, the things are written four time written for our learning. That's why the Lord he telling you all these things or the miracles that he did. And he got his men out there telling you these same things. And this is what you should trust in and not Esau's system. Because if you do, hey, you're going to die here, man. That's it. But like I said, you niggas don't want to hear it. So you're going to be a number to the sword. That's it. And it says, uh, when I call, ye did not answer. Mm-hmm. And when I spake, ye did not hear. Yeah, basically, it's a lot of that man. Mm-hmm. When he called, ye didn't go and pray. Mm-hmm. You know, you didn't go seek the knowledge. You didn't, you didn't go when you say, you didn't say, Lord, I hear you. You know what I mean? Man, you telling me to get right. Mm-hmm. Hell, Lord might even call you through whooping your ass. Real shit. Mm-hmm. But nigga like, fuck, damn, man. This another day. You know what I mean? Say. Yeah, say. You know what I mean? Or he finna hit a play. That, that'll boost a nigga to hit a play or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> nigga just got robbed. Fuck, I gotta hit another play. You know what I mean? You got it out. <laughs> It says, but did evil before my eyes mm. and did choose that wherein I delighted not. That's it. You choose the things that the Lord didn't delight not, which taken upon the fashions and the ways of Babylon the Great, because everything here is contrary to Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Mm-hmm. You know, you got it out. It says, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shah, mm-hmm. behold, my servant shall eat. So the Lord said, you know, basically, okay. Fuck you, bro. Mm-hmm. You gonna die. Mm-hmm. But my homeboy Timothy, you know what I mean? He gonna eat though. I'm see, I'm making sure he good. You know, that's just how about Shmuel shot for his servant. Mm-hmm. He said they gonna eat, man. You got it out. It says, behold. He says, behold, my servant shall eat, mm-hmm. but ye shall be hungry. Yeah, you gonna be starved out. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Mm-hmm. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah, ye shall be ashamed. We're going to rejoice. Lord, we are, even with that drink, you got to consider it spiritual even with this word. Mm-hmm. You know? Because, like, th- this is those everlasting waters, man. Oh, the woman at the well, you know? When you have to told the woman at the well, basically, it, it, hey, this, this cup don't, don't run out, man. You know? These are everlasting waters, man. You know? But as for you niggas, you gonna niggas gonna be thirsty and you gonna be seeking for answers. You gonna be seeking where to go and what to do. Mm-hmm. Shalom, you got it. Right. It said, "Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, mm-hmm. and shall howl for vexation of spirit." And it's heavy because the Lord said, "Behold," when you deal with that word, "behold," it goes into look. Cause oh, matter of fact, you got some. No, no, no. Get that Proverbs one. How you said that I shall laugh at that uh, mock at that calamity, rough mm-hmm. paraphrasing, because the man of the Lord is gonna be well fed in that day. They say ye shall have a vexation spirit. You know what I mean? You niggas howling like wolves crying out, uh, groaning. You know, but the saints shall rejoice. His servants, mm-hmm. they're gonna rejoice, smiling and shit. You smiling in a time like this, I tell you, belly full of wine. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got it out. Yep. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 24. It says, Because I have called and ye refused, mm-hmm. I have scratched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. There you go again. You niggas being hard headed. Mm-hmm. You don't want to hear the counsel of the Lord. Like a nigga think about his children first. You know, man, I got kids. I can't be doing that. I can't be out there with y'all. <laughs> nah, yeah, man. I... Yo, you got it, bro. They're my only off day. Yeah, they're my off day. <laughs> <laughs> like, Niggas ain't finna give up their off day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. 
you got it out. They is, work seven days a week. You know what I mean? They're going to come on my Saturday. Yeah, he, he ain't going to get my Saturday, nigga. He's all out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got it out. He's oh. like, what? My mama got kids too, goddamn? <laughs> this shit's sick. Pitiful, man. You know what I mean? This is what you niggas highlight. Yeah, that's it. Damn. He said, oh, shit. Proverbs yeah. 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Mm -hmm. That's when, it. You got. He said, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, mm -hmm. when distress and anguish come up upon you. Yeah, the Lord said, basically sent a threat. Mm -hmm. But he said he's going to laugh and mock at you. He's going to do that what? By the way, he prophets. <laughs> huh. You know? Again, a uh, fucking teeth fill a lamb. You know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, Shalom Mop. Look at yeah. that nigga. You know what I mean? I remember that nigga came past the camp. Mm -hmm. You know? It's going to be a lot of scoffing in that day. Mm -hmm. But the table's going to be turned, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <Indeed>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Real shit, that man. Be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful, like you said. My service shall rejoice. Mm -hmm. Because we know what time it is. We got to prepare for the battle. You know? Yep. We're going to be rejoicing, man. You know what I mean? We was prepared. We built up. Lame. Lord tell you he's not unrighteous to give thy labors of love. Mm -hmm. Lord really going to play out in those days. Oh, that's going to be, as we be as pilgrims, that's going to be one of the miracles that we seek for. Mm -hmm. To eat. Come. In a time of a famine, when the grocery stores are empty, and to be well fed at that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Only the elect can imagine that. Yep. Everybody can imagine that, man. If I may. You got yeah, it, Because like you said, they, they made themselves ready for the battle. They know when all hell uh, pops off, they know, we we know that our Lord Yahweh Shai is even closer, man. While you niggas just think it's just the end of your world, you're going to die and yeah. go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas ain't going to. Yeah. You don't know that it get greater after the destruction, man. That's it. But, mm -hmm. but you got it. You got something else, right? Uh, nah, nah. Yep. Yeah. But that perplexity, like the brother speaking upon. And these are the things as prophets that we're warning you of, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it could be really a terrible thing or a good thing unto your ears, man. Matter of fact, we can go on. You guys on? No, no, no. You got it. We can go and get that Jeremiah 28 and 8. Uh -huh. You know, because we're coming in the same spirit of the prophets of old. That's the only thing is, you know, and, and one beautiful prophet that, you know, uh, a beautiful Example to use comparing to this time is who? Our, the, the beloved prophet Noah. Our forefather Noah, man. All right? That's who we can use until this time because that's really, which we'll get that too out. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's you can really compare that until those times. Time, these times and times then, you can compare the two greatly, man. Okay? You mm -hmm. got it out. You know, this book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, and that's what we're doing. We're prophesying unto you the the, the king what uh, wars, what it says, of wars, great kingdoms of war, which Babylon the Great mm -hmm. America is a great mm -hmm. wicked kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the kingdom that's seen as though nobody can take her down. Mm -hmm. It's very, very luxurious here. You get it how you want it. You know, that's how it's seen. Although it's not, you know, because the Lord is going to show you mm -hmm. that he's going to bring his bitch low. All right? You Edomites out there, and I must say, because we, you know what I mean, we the brothers here in Alabama, we deal with a lot of these prof-ass fucking crackers. crackers, man. Yeah, your kingdom is falling, man. Over with. And they won't be able to get up. What's that commercial? Help, I'm falling, <laughs> and I can't get up. Oh, the scriptures even tell you how to take bomb for her pain. Life alert. You know, that's it. Life alert. <laughs> but ain't nobody gonna help this bitch, man. She gonna become as a desolation, man. A desert. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, man. But again, the prophets of Yahweh, Bashim, and Alshah are here to warn you of these things, man. Mm -hmm. As we done before. Lord, we are that number. But if you was a prophet then, you was a prophet now. And you're doing it back all over again to warn you of the things to come. Like we did back then against great many great kingdoms, as the scriptures has said, man. All right, of pestilence and war, famines, which that's what's coming here. 
Because this is a, a gluttonous kingdom, man. These motherfuckers eat till they can't eat no more, man. It's like it, cause you know, you know, shit, brothers see that shit every day, man. Every day. Niggas at McDonald's two o'clock in the morning. What the fuck? You know what I mean? You got a twenty four hour restaurant, you know? Mm-hmm. The hell? You at Waffle House at three o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, not knocking brothers that work late, you know how to go to that, but you know, it's just how this kingdom get off. Huh. That's the point of this kingdom, man. See, if we in the kingdom, we won't have to worry about shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even that, the graveyard shit. You know, you got that shit, man. That's that's the, the, the mindset of Esau. He gives he gives no rest. Whatever he put his hands to, he destroys. Come. You know? He don't give no rest, man. He just like to work, 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 work. Well, bitch, get ready, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get ready, nigga. Okay. To go on to slavery, man. And we're here again as the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah to warn you two thirds of these things that are coming ap- uh, abroad, you know, mm-hmm. and as well as you other nations, you're going into slavery. Is it? You got it out. Come. Yeah, I had a quick one just to bag you up. Like you said, uh, uh, America finna be a, a great desolation. Ain't nobody gonna help this war, man. Mm-hmm. The book of Jeremiah, chapter. Uh, 49 and verse 17 it says also Edom shall be a desolation <laughs> everyone that go by it shall be astonished mm-hmm. and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof yeah. Yo, the same way um the you got third world countries out here hey America finna get turned to a third world country man you finna watch America go uh low fast man mm-hmm. hey like the dollar gonna collapse niggas gonna be out here riding kicking in doors because it's gonna be great famine pestilence gonna be out here everywhere Hey, the Lord tell you how you're gonna have uh, newly created creatures, apparitions. Uh, hey, this place just gonna get go go to hell, man. Mm. Hey, you gonna have these other nations get the bomb in this bitch, mm. and us, man, the nuclear destruction, man. Yep. Uh, all the places where they were like they gonna be astonished at how America was this Damn. great city now it yeah, just turned to it. a nothing. That's it. That's spirit. Yep. Uh, verse eighteen, it says, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, save Yahweh by Shemal Shai. No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Mm-hmm. So the same judgment that happened to Sodom and Gomorrah, fire and brimstone, America is going to get that same uh, outcome. Ooh, hey, yep. you, you got now you, it. So now you finish the point. Oh, yeah. The same way Sodom and Gomorrah was an example. Mm-hmm. Hey, America, hey, they, they took it a step further. They way worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, man. This shit is massive wicked. And that's why when the Lord destroyed this shit, hey, it's going to be rightly so, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. We can get that by the shot. And it's an example at Second Peter. Oh, okay. Solomon Gomorrah was an example. Unto them that shall live ungodly. All right. And like the brother said, it, it, it's much worse. You know what I mean? Like, now these fucking sodomites can, like the brothers going to in the shot town, these sodomites can have babies now. Through fucking some crazy shit, I don't even want to go into it. You know? If I made these sodomites got rights. Oh, These niggas got rights, man. Yeah. Niggas be scared to say something about the, the homo. You get canceled. What is it? It's ma'am. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nigga like that. He was supposed to be put down in the middle yeah, of the store. Yeah, in the middle right of the store. Call somebody to come clean this shit up. Yeah. But he telling you it's ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. You know what I mean? That's some scary shit to go through right yeah, there. Yeah, you, you. You know what I mean? You don't know what to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? You stuck between the heart and uh, what is it, rock and the hard place? Yeah, man, you gonna get you gonna you get the death got, penalty if you would have like, killed that nigga. Yeah, you know I was saying you got the scriptures coming over your head. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. kid is homosexual. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> you like? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's what the righteous thing to do is to flee yeah. from out of there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Dust the feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you got it out. Yeah, this is the book of Second Peter. Chapter 2 and verse 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn mm-hmm. them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. That's it. And America was that, well, America, you know, is that place that lived ungodly. But it, like, again, her sins has reached unto the heavens. And it got to the point where Yahweh about you know, shot, like, damn, this bitch got to be taken down, man. Now. Now, you know? Real shit, man. Soon. Soon. That's it. You know? Mm-hmm. 
And, but Sodom and Gomorrah was only that example because you had all the foolery and the folly going on there. But like the brother mentioned, this place had exceeded that. Uh. You know? It took it down, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? This shit should make you sick to your stomach. Uh. But the Lord also is going to destroy this place, man. Mm -hmm. You got some out? You just one more verse? Got it, bro. And it says, and delivered just like vexed mm -hmm. with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Yep, and that's what we are. We're vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. The way you niggas walk, the way you niggas talk, the way you niggas look, Come. we're vexed with it, man. You know? Blonde hair. Yeah, the spirit. Shit eyes. like that, man. Grown so, like, ass. You got it out. Yeah, grown ass man. He got a purple patch in his head, man. You nigga, 40 years old, he got red hair and shit, man. That shit's sick, man. That shit, that's demonic. But hey, it was a. Hey, that's why America took it a step further, man. Sodom and Gomorrah was an example, hey, and you like, hey, like going into, hey, you surpassed that, man. That's, that's why it. this place is gonna be wiped off the face of the earth, man. Totally. Bro, they took it down, man. And when this come to pass, man, again, once again, the prophets, we told you so, man. You got something? Nah, man. <laughs> you nigga, the money. Yeah, that's fair, but that's. <laughs> part of Esau, you know yeah. What I mean? That's part of Esau ruling, man. You know, I fucking hate this place, man. Come on, man. You niggas on to like, you want to get some? Yeah, uh, we can get um, what is that? Um, the prophets raised up. Uh, that chronicles, the second chronicles, the third season, like fifteen. Come on, come on, come on. The prophets raised up B times. Come on. You know, because the ultimate, like, I, going back to the title, and it's going to circle every time because that's the spirit. You know, we told you so, you know. Mm -hmm. These things shall come to pass. <clears throat> All right? You got it out. You know, this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36 and verse 15. And Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, powers of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up B times and sending because he had compassion on his people. And on his dwelling place. That's it. Oh, the Lord had compassion on his people. So he sent the message, rising up B times to report and blow the trumpet. Tell you, even when it's, you know, when it's goddamn uh, sundown over here, you know, it's sun, it's sun up somewhere else. You know, the sun is rising somewhere else and brothers is going at it. Mm -hmm. Okay? To warn you. All right? Huh. But you people, again, you continue to be wicked. You continue to turn the, the turn the shoulder. You don't want better. Mm -hmm. Basically, you don't want fucking better at all, man. You got some? Yeah, quick result. Like yeah. it said, that was the compassion of the Lord because hey, awesome. This is what the Lord said. This is the Book of Ezekiel, chapter eighteen and verse twenty-three in the NLT. It said, "Do you think that I like to see wicked people die?" Says the Sovereign Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Of course not. I want them to turn from their wicked ways and live. Hey, and that's the Lord showing his compassion because he wants you niggas to repent, man. He said he wants you to turn from your wicked ways and live. R return back into your powers, your how about Shemal Shah. That's what he wants. But you niggas, hey, you just going to continue on and, and, and fuck off and you're going to uh, meet his wrath. But I feel like. Now what you got? You now, got going back, yeah, going back to that Second Chronicles. Yeah. You have Second Chronicles 36 and verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High. Yeah. And despise his words and misuse his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh by Shemal Shah arose against his people till there was no remedy. Yeah, that's it. You turn about 25 and 4. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's what you people have done. You talk shit, man. You scoff, you mock, you do shit. You know, you want to fight and shit, man. Oh, because we, we showing love. We wanted your black ass. Mm -hmm. Your fucking burrito eating ass, man. You know, that's what we doing. That's all we doing. And you get, and that's it shows you you can't really come at Jake's all soft, subtle, and sweet. You really got to give it to these niggas rough for real because they hard headed, man. They are impudent children. Mm -hmm. That includes North Kingdom too, man. Sure. You know, <laughs> don't, don't even let us get started on, you know, Modelo, man. You know. <laughs> But, you know, the oath of the Lord seek for our people to repent and turn back, man. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Once you learn your Israelite, like I said earlier, that's just really 25%. Because you got to learn how to uh, obtain the salvation and glory 
You got to learn how to please the Lord. Well, first you got to learn how to uh, please the Lord, you know, so you can obtain that salvation and glory. Okay? There's much more to being an Israelite just knowing you're an Israelite, bro. There's many men out here that know they're Israelites and still in the world, still doing the foolish things, the things that the Lord despised, man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25 and verse 4. And Yahweh by Shem al have sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. Yeah, you niggas ain't hearkened nor inclined your ear. How much more? Like, That's shit, like I said, it, it even takes patience to teach you niggas now, man. To go out there every weekend to blow the trumpet, it takes patience because you niggas don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. And who gives a fuck about you not wanting to listen? But it's the fact, like, man, damn, these niggas ain't gonna never get it. You know what I mean? Uh, fuck. So that's why we hoping that the Lord keep us, man, like, seriously, you know, keep us mm -hmm. from the hour of temptation. Lord will, we count out that number, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because only the elect is hearkening unto the prophets. Even brothers, like me and the brothers talking earlier, before the camera came on, iron sharp and iron, man. You know? That's the, the elect hearkening. You know, brothers, again, listening to, uh, watching brothers' videos and reading, you know? Mm -hmm. Those are the different things showing you that the elect hearken, hearkening. Even wise counsel, man. You know, sound counsel. You know? You got it out. <coughs> Is that it or you want? Uh, it's a little more. Yeah. It said, they said, turn ye again now, everyone, from his evil way. And from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that Yahweh by Shemal Shai have given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. And that's plainly what I said. That's what we, basically what the prophets are saying, man. Turn from your evil ways so mm -hmm. you can obtain the land of Israel, so you can be delivered mm -hmm. and kept from the said perils. So you won't have to face persecution without knowing what's going on. You know, <clears throat> so you can know the, the the blueprint, but ultimately you niggas was blind, mm -hmm. and that's when we have to dust our hands off with that, man. As long as Lord will, Lord keep us. All right, the scriptures speak about how the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hiding himself. Well, the the the, the elect will will be moving into the house right now. Mm -hmm. They'll be walking into the house. You know. And they'll be seeking to stay in the house, man, until the indignation pass. All right, you got some more. Okay, one more verse. You and it says, it. And go not after other gods mm. to serve them and to worship them, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Yeah, and many of our people, they provoke the Lord anger. It says, through the works of your hands. You know, you niggas hitting plays and shit. You doing wickedness. Because it's really, in Babylon the Great, you really got different gods. That's why this is the land of confusion. Okay? You can worship whatever god you want to. You don't have to stick to one specific god, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And that common god that niggas really worship is money. And that caused them to do all types of sorts of evils. Mm -hmm. Again, the works of their hands. They hitting plays, they robbing, they shooting. They doing all type of shit, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord tell you to seek no other god. Seek him. Seek the ways of him. Seek his prophets that he has set up, man. All right? You got more? No, nah, that was it. Yeah, until eventually, you know, when these things come to pass, and we can end off on that, Ezekiel 33, 33. All right. You know, when these things come to pass, you know, then should, thou shalt know that what? A prophet was among you. And we're going to say what? We told you so. And we're going to point you niggas to Jeremiah 15, man. You got it out. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, mm -hmm. lo, it will come. That's it. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And that prophet ultimately dealing with Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You're going to know that Yahweh Shah was dealing with that man because what? What we started out with? The testimony of Yahweh Shah is what? The spirit of prophecy. And that man was <laughs> the spirit. You hear me? That man was warning you. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's like, you got something? No, no, that was it. Uh, you know? 
But yeah, man, that's about it on this one, man. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying throughout the four corners of the earth. We're going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. And, you know, double honor to the head elders and apostles of the great millstone who we want to teach well. I also want to give a shout out at that time for Lek, to the Akin, a few Akwas who are also sitting in this truth, as well as the leaders of this world, not just the leaders, but do it as well. And again, to you, we'd like to say Shalom. Shalom. Soon.